physical therapy, mm -hmm. which is something different, but it still it has connections. Mm -hmm. And he's convinced that occupational therapy would also be a good thing. Mm -hmm. So if this collaboration becomes stable and is supported also by the government and by the people, this is really the base of having a sustainable you know, promotion of occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, so you come to Mongolia mm -hmm. and you meet your Mongolian colleagues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What impresses you the most about our Mongolian doctors and your colleagues? Well, actually, I also gave a lecture. Mm -hmm. I gave a lecture on health system in international compassion. Mm -hmm. And I showed, you know, difference between country and, and, and I was discussing with them. And I realized that they are very much interested. Mm. And also my colleagues said, we had good classes, we had good lectures, we had good discussion. And uh, this makes me optimistic to see that those um, health professionals we were, have been training now really want to go on and really also um, internalize and identify with the ideas of trainer trainer and with the idea that they will become trainers. Mm -hmm. So the um, uh, health systems of countries like Switzerland is our, as you said, fantasy, but uh, I have no doubts we will achieve it. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the main uh, features of the health system in Switzerland, which is available for the citizens which could be of interest for our viewers. <laughs> well, there are some aspects of Switzerland which should not be your ideal in the short term, maybe never, because there is much money in the health system and they do sometimes things, things which are very expensive but not necessarily very effective and efficient. Mm. So high technology intervention uh, which doubtful results, you know. But on the other hand, we have um, a system which is accessible to everybody. We have uh, compulsory insurance and uh, the poor, poor people uh, get paid this insurance by the state. And I really think the treatment even of the poor people is quite good. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is an aspect uh, where I would say that uh, that's good and could be an ideal um, to build up a health system where everybody gets a good treatment, independent of the money they have themselves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And um, as a citizen of Switzerland, if you could uh, share with your own personal opinion, what are the success factors? making your country as uh, prosperous and as economically developed mm -hmm. and as socially equitable mm -hmm. as it is at mm -hmm. the present moment? Well, to be honest, a country also has to be lucky mm -hmm. somehow. And I think one of our luck is that uh, we have not been affected by war. Mm -hmm. We were not involved in the first world war, not in the second. World War, and it's not only that we are brave or something, mm -hmm. uh, some of it is luck. But another part is if you work hard and then you get something. And we have this tradition of, uh, we call it Protestant Christian ethic, that you should, you should work, you know, you should, you should um, work for your destiny. Don't just think, well, if it's not good, you cannot handle it. Uh, try to change what is not good mm -hmm. and really invest in good education, invest in productivity and keep on working on it. So that's also a part of our success. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, looking at Mongolians, I also think they're working hard. Mm -hmm. and they have a tradition of working very hard on the countryside. Mm -hmm. And if you transform it, working hard in industry and in service mm -hmm. and everything, then you have a good future. Thank you.
And uh, we all, when we think of uh, Switzerland, we have images of um, Swiss chocolate, yes. uh, Swiss um, watches, yes. and Swiss bank. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the um, general other features of the Swiss people, let's say, <laughs> and the Swiss real lifestyle? Well, the political system is not only democratic in the sense that everybody can go voting, it's very decentralized. Mm. So also Switzerland is small. We have 24 cantons and half cantons, so that makes 26 little systems. Mm. And each one has a bit of different, uh, also has health system. And people, people participate. And I think that's important thing also communes have their own voting have their own rules and that you know we don't think well there's somebody in the, in the in the main in the capital who does the thing for us we want to have it organized on the local level mm -hmm. and i think that's also part of of the success that people participating mm -hmm. participating in education in economy, in politics, mm -hmm. not delegating it to some central, uh, central capital, or central uh, government, but, but but really, you know, decentralized participation. Mm -hmm. And thank, thank, thank you, you very welcome. much for your interview. Thank you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, today our guest was Dr. Professor Mir from the Zurich University of Applied Science, who shared with the uh, work which he and his colleagues are doing in regard to occupational therapy to introduce in Mongolia. I would like to thank you for your time and hope to see you next week.